Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 13, introduction to arrays, number 16, getting started, creating IDs. Creating IDs. To get your application off the ground, we've provided the user interface elements that you will use in your application. Unfortunately, they all have the current default IDs, which don't really reflect how the elements will be used. We have a pretty easy do this create a descriptive and meaningful ID for each element in your app. Well, that doesn't sound too bad and one of my favorite things. So let's go ahead and click around and start naming stuff. Up top here is our main label. So I'm just going to put fave or it things label. This is what counts where we're at in our list. So we are either one of 25 or two of 200, whatever, but this keeps track of where we're at. We want to name this one then Array Tracker. And that's just tracking in the array where we're at. In here, we have our text area. I honestly just like text area but in camel case. This is where we have user text input. So that's what I'm gonna label it there. Our add button. Last button. And finally, next. Just clicking through. Now all of these things are in the proper camel case and labeled things that I can quickly identify and know as I type and develop my code. Looking back here, all we really had to do is create a descriptive and meaningful ID for each of the elements and we did and we had fun doing it. I think that's all we really have to do for this lesson. Let's go ahead, hit run and finish it up. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.